No nonsense now out here. Today I'm going to do a quick comparison of this uh, Arkansas knockoff bead seeder. I'm going to compare it to this cheetah bead seeder I've been using for 10 years. It's real beat up. We'll talk about some of the differences between the two. If you want to buy one of these on Amazon, they're 70 bucks. Check out the link down below. That one's about 200 if you go with the cheetah. Anyway, so a real quick demo on how to use this. If you're uh, if you have a tire that's you know not seating properly, you're trying to fill with air and you can't get that bead to seat, this is to get some very stubborn tires. You fill this thing up with air, and it's got an inch and a half bowl valve on it. Basically, just put it right here. Make sure to hold on to it real good because this thing can go flying if you're not holding it right. So then basically, ear box, and it works just like just like that. It brings the tire up to seat it. All right, so let's talk about a few of the differences besides the $130 price difference. One thing I think is very important here is the fact that this is made by TSI, Tire Service Equipment Manufacturing Company. Uh, this is a big company that supplies, you know, equipment to all sorts of shops. If something was to go wrong with this tank, this company is going to back it up. You know, this Arkansas, who knows? If this thing blows up and kills somebody, they might just, you know, not be available for any kind of uh, reimbursement if somebody was to die. You know, uh, that brings me to the... The placards on here, you know, this is nice. This has a serial number. It shows its max PSI, which, by the way, is actually 145, so 20 PSI less than this. This is rated for 165. Of course, both these tanks could probably take well over 300 before actually blowing up. That's just a pressure rating. Um, but this is just a sticker put on here. It doesn't seem very official. You know, this plaque placard is actually has everything engraved on here, uh, you know, etched in. So that's a nice thing to see. I do notice the cheetah handle is actually uh, kind of... A design fall here you know it's bent and, and mounted on there just crooked and cattywampus so i mean you know this is arkansas actually has a nice bigger and properly you know well long handle so that's nice to see as far as the bungs on here this one has an inch and a half male bung and then this actually has a inch and a half female on there the blow off valve on this one seems a lot more official has official gravings and even a, a serial number it looks like on there this is just a you know a knockoff blow off valve i mean you know hopefully it works right <clears throat> anyway the heart you know, overall the, the ball valve on this one seems a little bit better I mean the hardware on this is a little more chintzy but the price you really can't complain too much it's got a liquid filled gauge on it and also I noticed the bung on this gauge is actually kind of crooked crookedly mounted on there so that's uh, you know on the cheetah they seem like they're all mounted properly but shy of that uh, you also have the tips on here you know this has a different tip uh, so not a big deal there not a deal breaker um, one thing to note about these tanks too, you can see this one's got some dents in it and stuff. When you get that, I mean, it's a good idea to replace the tank. That really affects the structural integrity of the tank. And also, this one's definitely due to be replaced because you can see it's starting to actually rub through the weld right here on the bottom uh, from, from, you know, being on the shop floor and kicking around all the time and stuff like that. So anyway, besides that, this seems like a well worth pro product for 70 bucks. And one more little tip for you. If you want to turn your new bead seeder tank into a, you know, a tank that you can bring out to the driveway to fill tires with, if you got, you know, you'll feel dragging the air compressor out there with a hose, get yourself a small hose like this and, uh, you know, put a female on both ends so you can plug that into the tank here and then, you know, put whatever end you want to on the, on there. Uh, I've, I actually used this old Freon tank uh, that was my father's, has his initials on there and everything. Um, this, I used this for years, probably shouldn't have been using it because, you know, this is an old Freon tank and you're not really Really supposed to refill these but i mean it sounds very solid you know it's rated for uh, over 200 psi so it is a good tank i decided to cut this open and check it out you can see on the bottom we have uh, a good amount of rust and pitting so definitely glad i retired this thing you know once that starts like that and you get moisture in there sitting on the bottom this thing can rot through so just goes to show you if you can't view the inside of your tank and it's old uh it's a good idea to replace that tank for sure especially if it's not ever designed to have air like this one really wasn't designed to be refilled so it's been a good tank though it's been a great tank for 30 plus years and if you are going to use it for a tank it's not a bad idea to put a little wire on here like this so nobody will mistakenly you know kick this open and, and this thing could potentially go flying then when you want to use the bead blaster you can pop that off anyway so check out uh you know Check out the link below if you want to get one of these. If not, check out the channel. Got some other videos on there. I definitely appreciate a thumbs up and comment if you get the chance. And uh, otherwise, till next time, this is KZ Guy 2, No Nonsense Know How, Chris Brown, whatever you want to call me. And yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.